Francis Vidoc, a historical treasure to criminology and considered by many to be its father, started off his early life as an avid troublemaker. But as he grew, he would undertake an illegal activity and be thrown in prison, unable to escape a cycle of hiding from the authorities, being caught, and then escaping their clutches again. He joins the French police trying to change his path in life, but he never forgets his past for many of the skills he introduced in the study of investigation were honed as a criminal. Though born into a family of bakers in Aries, France, young Vidoc would grow to become a respected fencer and while running errands, would dally to the fencing rooms. But slowly his father turned stricter regarding Vidoc's independence and gave him a curfew and such. In retaliation to his actions, Vidoc started stealing bread and some of his parents' liquor, but was caught quickly and punished. His eagerness to steal grew, which caused little Vidoc to loot silver plates and sell them all. But this time, the police arrested him rather than a supperless night from his mother. His parents thought he learned the wrong of his activities, but at 14 years old, Vidoc's criminal mind grew, and he stole money to run away. Strangers tricked the boy, and he awakened from the first night with little to no currency. While looking for shelter, he found a circus who would take him in if he worked as an act, but the daily abuse and the cannibalistic job he had to do made him want to go back home. Unable to go by himself, for he didn't know the way. He worked for a kind old peddler and traveled with him to Ares. Once home, Vidoc wept and begged for forgiveness to the mother who hardly recognized him. She quickly took him home, and his father, though not happily, welcomed him back as well. The events of his first one ray popularized him, and he was known to be very sociable. One would think after such an event, Vidoc would want to stay by his parents' side out of trouble, but soon he joined the Bourbon Rigamont. Being not a perfect soldier, Vidoc had some time in their jail, most likely for misbehavior, during which he helped his cellmate escape. The French Revolutionary War started and Vidoc took off with the Bourbon Regiment to fight for France. After a few years, he left the army and stayed in Brussels, living off of stealing. When apprehended by the police, he told them the fake name of Sou and then escaped while they were looking for his papers. He joined the Armée Roulande, and while there, he met a widow in Brussels, who grew close to him. Before their wedding, Vidoc set out again, but this time with a big amount of money gifted by the widow. After traveling for so long, he had moved to Paris, where he fell in love with Francie Lugol. He dueled her lover, but got sued after beating him, where he was sent to Tour saint Piri, a prison in Ile. In prison, Vidoc practiced forgery and helped sell my a pardon to leave early, but because of other prisoners telling him forge the note, Vidoc's sentence was extended. With the help of Francine, unknown to us why she helped, Vidoc tried escaping many times through many various methods. After one successful flee, Francine saw him cheating and was found the next day with stab wounds. The police accused Vidoc of murder, but Francine lived and told them that they were self done. Vidoc was found guilty of forgery in trial and transferred to Becky. He escaped the prison and went back to his home in Aries. His next few years would be filled with running from his past to be a normal merchant, but getting sentenced to death when found. Along with former friends and his ex-wife blackmailing him, he seemed to have no way to atone for his crimes and restart. When jailed in Bakri, he offered services to the police. Joined, they assigned him as an informant of a left force prison. He would strengthen his bonds with fellow prisoners, learning of future crimes, and transfer the information to Dubois, commissary general of the police. This is where Vidoc's life would turn around to his path of being a detective. The history of Vidoc's criminal record will draw connections to, its, to his detective skills once his presence within law enforcement has grown. To understand what he expanded upon, the basic police system during the 1700s needs to be understood. The police of France were a political police who were never interested in crimes not related to high government status. This caused the relationship between the public and the National Guard to be unpleasant. After Napoleon took over France, the police were ordered to change their policies and to decrease the crime rate. The police needed people, even former criminals, to, equipped to handle these offenses and to join their forces. 
The dog changed many things about Francis' police, firstly showing the usefulness to disguises. The dog had first used disguises while escaping prison on many occasions, and through his failures, he found many different ways to change appearances, such as scraping himself to look more beggarly or changing genders when absolutely needed. As well as tricking the prison guards with impersonations, he would also charm them to open his cell. Always a sociable person, especially after running away, he used his charisma to attract women many times during his run from the police. The biggest example being the widow from Brussels. In this sociability came many relations that the police could not obtain due to the public's opinion on them. Many times he would gather information sneakily by the common people, used fake looks to blend among suspected criminals, be friendly enough to converse about or even join them in the heist, and later apprehend them during the illegal act. This would continue for many crimes in which the crime rate would decrease after Fidel's successful as well as these technical betterments. Vidoc showed the importance of forensics to investigation, since for reasons unclear the police never saw them as useful. During his life of hiding from the authorities and trying to be a normal merchant, Vidoc needed to travel without anybody intentionally following him for blackmail. To rid of physical traces of his appearance, little methods such as erasing footprints were used. When as a detective, he worked backwards and used plaster of Paris to preserve footprints. The dog would continue to expand upon different forensic techniques to catch criminals accurately, for he has never liked false accusation. For example, using an early form of ballistics and handwriting analysis which probably came from his own experience in forgery. Since they were new, now there were not many cases where forensics was his main course of action when examining the crime site. A forensic method Vidoc never continued was fingerprint analysis, since he never found the best ink to keep the fingerprints contact. Even after retiring from the police, Vidoc would go to create the world's first private detective agency, as well as be an inspiration to many mystery writers. Vidoc's mastery in astounding different personas and advanced usage of forensics to catch villains showed positive results when the crime rate decreased rapidly after his involvement with Francis' security, and many of his ideas were expanded upon after his death, as well as his permanent imprint on criminology. A criminal understands a criminal best is something 